Hey guys, this is Brawl of 2095. Today I have an unboxing of the Turtle Beach XL1s. Um, I also do have the audio adapter for the 360 to unbox. After this unboxing, I will show you how to set it up, so don't worry about that. So here we go. I got these both for about $42, including shipping on Amazon. Um, Two-day free shipping using the Amazon um, two-day shipping, pretty much, from Amazon Prime. Um, Let's get into this. Here we go. First thing you get is the optical audio adapter for Xbox 360. Basically, it's just something that plugs into your audio part, and this right here. Um, if you guys hear that noise in the background, that's actually my turtle. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, but pretty much, you see, it has white and red. You connect that, Turtle Beach is in there. I'll show you how to do this, so I don't have to explain it. But anyway, here we go. The main thing. Turtle Beach XL1s. These are the new version. It's not the white one. It's the black version. I do hear that there's more improvements on this one. I'm not sure exactly what they are, but they definitely are improvements. So, um, oh, sorry about that. We have Air Force XL XL1. Amplified stereo gaming headset. And it does have mic, the... Uh, Separate chat and volume, chat and um, game volume switches. On the back, it does have all the stats and, and everything, so you can read that if you want. It does have built in bass boost. And unlike the X12s, this the bass boost is not adjustable. It's it's a set thing, that's pretty much what di differentiates this. So if you really want to spend the extra like $40, $20, I mean, yeah, like around $20, just so you can adjust the bass boost, then go ahead. But pretty much they're exactly the same. So here we go. Oops. Let me see if I can cut in this. Yeah, I think I just cut my bed a little bit. Oh well. So I'm gonna rip the box. There we go. So let me just take this out. It's gonna be nice. Um, if you guys want a review of these, I'll use it for like about a week and then I'll get back to you on that. So let's see how these go out. Look inside it says, and it does have a whole bunch of pamphlets that flew out as I took it out. So first thing you get is Turtle Beach DR, like what is this, DSS2. It's like Adobe Digital Surround Sound or something. But, no, I don't want that. You get a Turtle Beach sticker, their warranty service, and a manual. This manual just tells you how to set it up, and that's what I'm going to show you, so you don't have to read it. Okay. Next thing you get is the actual headset. And this nice green Turtle Beach case. So you guys can see, and uh, the remote is in there. So let me just pop that out. If I can, without ripping it. I don't really want, I really don't want to rip it, but... I will if I have to. Right, there we go. So toss that to the side. And here we go. It comes with the Turtle Beach headset, obviously. XL1s. These are over the ear, not in um, on the air. So it should be more comfortable over time. These have nice cloth mesh. It does have the nice lime green accents on it. It does have a little leather or pleather um, cushion on the top. It does say Turtle Beach there. Um, the boob mic is adjustable for 180 degrees. This is the right side, this is the left side, and the speaker does not come with the foam, so. If you blow into the mic, you might actually hear it a lot worse, and it might annoy people, but it's whatever. Hear an echo? Make sure both ends of this plug are, this cable are plugged in securely. How to connect plug straight and into the headset, and plus the angle end into the controller. Okay. So, here you have your uh, Air Force XL1. She says game and chat, separate dials. You have on and mute. And then you have your control jack. But I'll show you guys how to set us up real quick. Be right back. All right, to connect this to your 360, first thing you want to do is get your talkback cable. 
unwrap it. Let's do this quick. All right. I hate these stupid swirly things, whatever they're called. Make sure there's no nuts. Okay. They said the straight end into the headset port. So you would put the straight part, obviously, into the headset, just like that. And then the curved part into your 360 controller. Okay. Now that that's done, you can go to your audio adapter. And the thing you want to do is plug it right above the HDMI cord. This this method is only if you use an HDMI. I don't know how to do it with regular video cords since I don't use them. So you put in the AV. Just like that. And then you get your your white and red and you put them in the spots. So put white and white and red and red. Simple as that. Okay, let me tilt this down a little bit more. Um, next thing you want to do is get your USB cable from the Turtle Beach, right? And pick any USB slot in the back or in the front. Just that's it. Your Turtle Beaches are now connected, and you can now listen and chat through Xbox Live gameplay. If you guys have any questions about the setup or the unboxing, just let me know in the comments below. Thanks.